Hey guys, and welcome to this lesson about drop two chords for guitar. Um, so in a nutshell, drop two is an arranging technique used to get a more uh, lush, deeper sound of the seventh chords and their inversions. Before we get started, let's look at the actual technique of making a drop two chord. All right, so I'm right here on the seventh position, and I'm playing a basic C major seven chord. You can see the root, third, fifth, and major seven. Now, drop two is basically taking the second note from the top and dropping it one octave down. So instead of having one, three, five, major seven, I will take this fifth, or the G note, and drop it down one octave here. And then instead of having one, three, five, major seven, I will basically have five, one, three, and major seven right here. So this, is turning into this. All right, so with this technique, we take every inversion and turn it into a drop two chord. Um, let's take a look at another example. For example, if we take the first inversion of the C major seventh, so we'll have the third, fifth, seventh, and root. Now, as you can clearly see, this is almost impossible to play and very uncomfortable, so this method will also give you a better uh, sounding and more comfortable chord to play. So what I do here is I basically I take the 7th and then drop it down one octave. And instead of having 3, 5, 7, 1, okay, what I'll have is uh, 7, 3, 5, 1. And this is a much better way to play uh, than this. In the first exercise, we're going to look at the C major 7 and all of the inversions. Um, note that I'm always looking for the root and then building the chord on that. And the second stage, I'm looking for the 5th, the 3rd, and the 7th of the chord. Always be aware of where those are. So uh, let's take a look at the first shape. And as you can see, the root is on the second string. So this is how I build the C major seven from the second string. And then we move on to the third string. You can see the root on the third string, and there's your shape. And then on to the first string, you can see the root here. There's your shape. And then your root on the fourth string, there's your shape. And we do this with all the chords, the minus seventh, uh, the minus seventh flat five, etc. Um, so let's take a look at the actual exercise. Two, three, four. Alright, let's move on to C minor. Alright, and on to exercise 3, the minus 7 flat 5 or half diminished. And lastly, exercise four, let's take a look at the seventh chord, the dominant seventh. All right, so once you get comfortable with all the shapes we did and play them in all different keys, what you need to do is start playing some uh, regular company to you know any standard that you can find and also play scales with the chords. Let me show you what I mean. Take a look at exercise five. We're looking at, a, uh, at an F Dorian scale, right? So we have 
F, G, A flat, B flat, C, D, E flat, back to F. Now, if we take a look at the uh, our drop two chords, we have this. F minus seven here, F minus seven here, F minus seven here, F minus seven here, and another F minus seven here. So, we can connect the scale with the shapes this way. Alright, let's look at another example. This time we're looking at the C major scale on the second string. So we'll have C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and C again. And if I look at the C major chord, we'll have this. Alright, let's take a look at another example, this time exercise 7 uh, with a G mixolydian scale. So the scale will go like this on the first string. G, A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. Now if we take a look at the chords, we have G7th right here, another one here, another one here, and the last one here. And then we connect the scale again with the chords like so. Let's do it slower. Alright, so once you feel comfortable with those seven exercises and you've tried those on different keys uh, and different uh, places around the neck, it's time to make uh, an etude and, you know, make it uh, into real music. Um, on those type of things, I really suggest that you take a look at the standard called All the Things You Are. Uh, the chord etude I did is based on the first 16 bars of the harmony of that standard. All right, so starting out in the first position uh, with an F minus seven, going up the scale, another F minus seven into B flat minus seventh, another B flat minus seven, and then an E flat seventh up the scale, another E flat seventh, and an A flat major seventh, little melody. Flat major seventh, a little melody, and a G seventh, and then going through the inversion, and then up on a C major seventh, and down going with the inversions, and then moving almost an octave up to C minor. C minor, and F minor seventh, another F minor seventh up the scale, another F minor seventh, and then a B flat seventh, an E flat major seventh, another E flat major seventh, A flat major seventh, A flat major seventh. And then doing an A minus seven flat five, A minus seven flat five, D 
7, D7, and resolving it to a G major 7. Alright, so let me take you through the whole thing very slowly, so you can follow. Alright, so thanks for watching the lesson and getting up to here. I hope that this was uh, efficient for you and useful for you and that you've uh, learned something new. Um, please comment, rate and subscribe. Uh, let me know what you think of it. And uh, again, the most important thing is to work slowly, uh, get the stuff inside your fingers and inside your ear and make sure you understand this in all 12 keys and, you know, make little exercises of your own such as the ones I showed you. And uh, again, play, take the real book and play some standards using this type of uh, method. Uh, so I'll see you next video. Bye-bye.